The trial has started of Iceland's former Prime Minister Gerhard, who's accused of failing to take measures to prevent the financial crash in 2008. He's also accused of failing to rein in Iceland's top three banks, which went bust after years of debt fueled expansion, which this economist says was an accident waiting to happen. They borrowed heavily. International flows of money into Iceland were huge. They used that money to leverage. They bought a lot of assets overseas. These assets fell dramatically in value, which meant that they couldn't cover their liabilities. So they were effectively insolvent and bankrupt. Harder denies the charges and told the court none of us realised at the time that there was something fishy within the banking system itself, as now appears to have been the case. He blamed the banks, whose balance sheets grew to around nine times the size of Iceland's economy, saying that the government didn't fully understand how much debt they had and that they had got out of their depth. Harder is the only political leader in the world to face prosecution over the crisis. Top executives at one of Iceland's banks were recently charged with fraud and market manipulation.